I had to, I don't know if this is going to fit. We really don't care about the, the back. So this is going to be the bottom tier. It's going to be the bottom tier. And what I did was I printed out, I, I cut it down so I can put this on either side. to extend the image so it can go all the way around. Did I have to do this? Probably not because I don't think anybody's going to really pay attention to the back of the cake. Now if I do decide to add these then maybe I'll add some drip to cover up the seams. So it's like right where the seams are I'll make the drips extra long so then you don't see the seam at all because the drip will cover it but it's like I don't think I want to do drip but I feel like drip will be okay you know obviously the cake is not this tall so what I was thinking about doing was cutting them and then folding them over the top edge of the cake so it would cover the top part because I'm not putting any color I'm not making any more frosting colors so I just wanted to cover it with the edible images so this is what I mean it's like it's decorated but it's not decorated Don't do that. Don't do that. I am not going to cut off all of the white because maybe that's how I can attach the next sheet. You know what I mean? So I think I'm just going to like put this on the cake fold you know slit the tops and then just fold it over um and then that's gonna be the cake that's gonna that's gonna be the decorations see this is what i mean so the cake can be like a continuous half a so like this i don't know if you can see that because the, is it the circumference of the seven inch round cake? If I'm using the, the correct term, I may or I may not be. Um, it is 23 inches. Well, with the frosting, I, I got 23 inches. It may be a little bit shorter. But y'all see what I'm going for. Yes, it's all edible. I use my edible image printer. So there we go. I'm going to just cut it down just a little bit though. Because from base, from, from the base, from the base to the top of the cake is um, five inches five inches is okay for some anyway so what I'm going to do because five inches is right at the Nintendo um, I am going to cut off a portion of the bottom so I'm probably cut it like right there Yeah, I'm going to cut it off right there.
I should have done this when I was editing it. Edit, 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 editing. This one don't matter. This is the one that matters. I'm gonna use this as a ruler. Cause I'm being lazy. This is, this is me being lazy today. Yes, I use my other edible image as a ruler, as a straight edge. Don't need that. Okay, so we can go ahead and start, cause I could put these anywhere and just cut it off. <gasps> it's really sticking to this um, mat really good. So for the most part, I'm probably gonna be cutting off a top portion of the cake, I mean, of this image. So to me, this gives a statement, it's a statement piece without it being, without having to do too much work. And the cake is not that tall, but maybe like five inches tall. So let's just get it on the cake. Let's, let's get to it. It's 313. So the cake is still a bit tacky. So this should go on pretty good. I was going to make some green to put like trees and stuff. But I don't, I don't know if Mario have trees. Does Mario have trees? Yes, they do. See that? You see that? Uh huh. Now, if you don't, oh, you got too cocky. You got too cocky, little heifer. Let's just hurry hurry it up and get this thing back in the freezer.
quick and simple and still a statement. Um, icing, icing images. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, ink edibles. Inkedibles.com. Inkedibles.com. You should always shop with them when they have their when they have their good coupons that come out. Inkedibles.com. You can get them up to 11 by 17. All right. There's that one done. Now let's get the other one out here. I got a little cocky on that one, so we're going to reel it back a little bit. see how good this one this one turns out make sure my hands dry cuz I like to touch stuff trash for mommy thank you sir okay I need a little piping bag so I can um, you ain't gotta be extra you ain't gotta be extra what did I oh I was gonna say what did I do with my frosting determine if um, if I'm gonna stick these in the board or if I'm gonna stick these directly onto the cake the images that I just showed you guys so I'm just putting a little bit of buttercream on the white parts so they can stick now I could have just put a little dab of water what I do. I really, really do. I 
I don't know if I told you this, but I love what I do. I'm just gonna overlap these two in the back. Because why not? I'm not even gonna worry about the drip. We just gonna put a border on here. And to some, this is also a good alternative to fondant, especially if you don't know how to work with fondant. Edible images will, it will do the trick for you. I definitely don't let anybody dictate to me what it is that I should or shouldn't do. I'm gonna do whatever makes my heart happy. What? Edible images can be a lifesaver. What are you doing? I'm working, little heifer. What does it what look like I'm doing? Time is it? Huh? What time is it to go? Uh, well, we gotta be leaving pretty soon. But I gotta finish the cake first. I that don't look good you can't tell me that don't look good even look at the back the two seams or three seams are right here and you can you can barely tell if you ain't looking for it it's gonna your eyes gonna it's gonna lose it okay we're gonna put some we're gonna stack this cake right quick. Let me get the straws. I think we only need about five. Straws go through the edible images just fine. Kai, right, what do you think? I feel like I'm trying to open up a boba. That was probably in the wrong spot.
there we have it. Oh my gosh. The, the bad thing about edible images is they do develop bubbles underneath the surface. If there's no fondant holding it, you do have to worry about bubbles. But I'm not tripping, so. I think I'm just gonna use regular white frosting as the base as the border. I'm just pushing the bubbles out the bottom because that's where it's, you know, where it's developing. But then, but look how you can handle it as if it was frost um, fondant. Go ahead and put on a border. Topper. Y'all stop fighting. Go sit down. I have decided that I think I'm just gonna put some frosting on the back of these images and just stick them straight to the cake. I think that's what I'm gonna do. 
and again I did not choose these images he picked these images for this cake I'm sorry okay what's up Melissa <laughs> yes, I'm gonna do that. Ah! Yes, 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 that's what I'm gonna do. That was such a good move. Gosh, I surprise myself sometimes. I'm probably not gonna go. Huh? I'm probably not gonna go. Okay. Then you can wash, finish washing the dishes for me. Change your mind now? No. You don't. Well, can you finish those before you leave? the curtain in the middle. I think I'm gonna add some more clouds on there since we are missing them. That's good. I'll put one right here. I love it. It's like a it's a decorated but not decorated. I love it.